of the key components of understanding ball motion for an individual player is what we call the release ratio. And that is going to be the ratio of how fast the ball is traveling down a lane in relationship to how fast the ball is spinning. Just because you have 300 RPM does not mean that your 300 RPM is going to rotate as fast as someone else's 300 RPM based on their tilt. So just to give you an example, when you release the bowling ball, let's take a bowler that's releasing at 21 miles per hour. If they're releasing at 21 miles an hour and if they had what we call a release ratio of 3 to 1, the ball would actually be spinning at 7 miles per hour. As the ball goes down the lane, it will start losing speed, so it will start dropping. The RPMs, or the, how fast the ball is spinning, will come up. What we're looking for is that match right there going into the pins. So this right here would be a 3 to 1 ratio, which means the ball is traveling three times faster down the lane than it is actually spinning. If the lanes were oily, we would actually want to decrease that ratio for that bowler. Again, the key is that we want to be able to do it down here, the pins at 60 feet. So we would need the ball to actually pick up earlier, because if we had oilier lanes with the same release, these two points would never come in together. So we either have to reduce how fast we're throwing it, or we have to increase how fast it's spinning. We have to reduce the ratio. So instead of going to 3.1, we might want to go to 2.5 to 1. That way, the ball has a chance to match up going into the pins, and that's what we call the release ratio.